Marvel Live from New York Comic Con 2014, brought to you by Marvel Contest of Champions. I'm Lorraine Sink, host and writer of Marvel's The Watcher, joined by... Blake Garris, and we have a very special guest. Yeah. How are you doing today, sir? Good. Introduce you yourself. Doing? I'm Freddie Wong. So, I gotta say, I told you earlier, our video guy, Brian, over here, we gotta get security for you to get out of the room, because he was freaking out when he found out you were coming by. Does this happen a lot at cons? Uh, here and there, it depends on the convention, yeah. you know? Um, like uh, fashion beauty conventions, not so much. No. You know, You're looking sharp those. though. I like Thank you. Shirt. Yeah, no, that, not really so much, but like uh, like you know, E3 and the, and the sort of gaming conventions. Right. Like that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now you guys are really heavily represented. Like you guys have a huge banner. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm oh. told we have a lot of posters <laughs> around here, um, and they're huge and they're uh, uh, towering and, and all over the place. So yes, we are. We have a lot of posters. So you have a really good reason. You have season three. That's right. Yeah. So we're premiering the first episode of season three mm -hmm. of Video Game High School uh, in just a little bit, actually, later today. So we just we just got back from the tech like demo and tech check and everything. So it's all good. Everything plays back, everyone. So for those of you on the edge of your seat wondering if we'll be able to play it back. Don't, don't scoot back. You'll be fine. We'll be playing it. And obviously, this is a really huge thing. At what point did you realize this is big? It's interesting, right? Because like we put stuff online, and it's like it's, we never like go out and like do theaters or anything like that. We just put it online, and a number on the computer somewhere just kind of gets higher and higher. We have never have any idea of like where and how you know where the fans are and how how big it is. And so I think you know, starting with season two, we started to like you know do some conventions and things like that, people started saying, oh, I love the show, and then we're like, oh, wait, yeah, that's right, people actually watch this thing that I put up, but uh, that's when we sort of started realizing, and then I think third season, it's definitely kind of come to a head, we're like, oh, wow, there's a lot of people who actually know what this show is, <laughs> much to our surprise, you know, because we always just think, we're just sitting there editing, we have no idea how many people out there are watching the show, we're just like, I, yeah, let's finish this thing and put it up online, and hopefully some people will see it, yeah. You guys are really like the future of YouTube. You guys have incredibly high production value. How many people work on the show itself? Not as many as you might think, you know, so like, uh, you know, we're in Burbank and we have like 15, 20 people on the post-production side. When, we, when we're doing like the shoot, that is full on, like we have, you know, 100, 150 people uh, in various capacities, various roles. Uh, but it's not as actually a, a big of a production as you might expect, you know, I think it's, uh, we're very proud of what we're able to do with what we have. You know? and, and you wear a lot of hats, don't you? Uh, what, yes, What I all do. do you do on the production? <laughs> I mean, you kind of do it all, right? Yeah, we do a lot of the post stuff, you know, visual effects, editing this year. Uh, Matt, the co-director, and I, we were both we we're both editing this year. Uh, pretty much anything that needs to be done, that's kind of like how we're able to do it. It's like anything that needs to be done, everyone kind of has, uh, everyone's kind of jack of all trades, you know. So, so anytime you need something to be done or something that's like, oh, shoot, can someone do this? People can step up, and that's kind of, having that flexibility is very important. And um, that's so cool. are you going to be able to walk the floor at all? You, anything you want to check out? I don't know. Was it? Have you guys walked to the floor at all? I, I ran to, to a place in the back. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, the bathroom? Yeah, no, that's a <laughs> No, but I went to our booth and came right back here. Oh, okay. I thought oh, I gotta but, check out your booth. Yeah. Oh, Can yeah. you guys get me into your booth? Totally. Yeah. Nice. yeah. <laughs> you don't have any time. You're busy all day. I am. I'm relatively busy, but I'll, I'll run through your booth marathon through the through the uh, show floor. It's nice. It looks like right now you can actually walk the show floor. So you better get Yeah, right now. This is get, I heard it gets crazy crowded this year. It does, uh, it does. Have you seen any cosplayers for the show yet? No, I haven't. It's actually kind of a relatively difficult show to cosplay, which is <laughs> part of the reason why we're like, we should do this show like as an animated show, because oh. then we'll have some more cosplayers. <laughs> yeah. Occasionally, we do see it here and there. We're like, oh, hey, that's, oh. I, th there was definitely one guy I remember in San Diego who cosplayed, and we're like, wait a minute. Oh, that's not our friend Brian who's here. <laughs> that's a guy cosplaying him. He looks so much like one of the characters. Oh, that's so awesome. Now, if you guys have questions, you can always send them to us and just hashtag Marvel NYCC and we'll answer them live on the show. So, I know you can't tell us probably too much about the upcoming season, mm -hmm. but what was something that you're really looking forward mm -hmm. to in the upcoming season? So, this first episode, which is, which is coming out on Monday on YouTube, we have, uh, we, we went on Conan. Mm -hmm. um, to promote the show, and we shot a cameo with Conan while we were there. You're saying it like it's no. Uh, <laughs> well, because if we didn't do Conan. anything, that was the most boring talk show interview of all time. We're like, we have to do something. <laughs> like, we, let's get him, uh, let's get, shoot a cameo. Uh, so that cameo is showing up in the first episode. But we also have like so three cool. or four like in a row in the first mm -hmm. like two minutes that we're really, really excited about. Um, we do a lot of stuff. We do a car flip. We do the biggest explosion that we've ever done, which is a 200-gallon gas explosion. And you I didn't realize this. This is how they measure explosion size. They measure explosion size in gallons of gasoline. So, like, some stunt guy had to go to, like, an Arco and, like, just pump 200 gallons of gas into, like, <laughs> containers. Like, it feels like all day. It took him all day to do this. Uh, and then we blew it up. It was great. 
Uh, is that weird to go from, you know, doing more like visual effects yeah. to being like, let's just get 200 gallons of gas. <laughs> to be really fair, that's kind of what every, that's, to be fair, like that's kind of what everybody thinks movie making is like, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, I'd rather, I, I would hope that we're in a world where it's like, instead of being like movie making, sitting in front of computers and making things happen, it's mm -hmm. movie making. Buying 200 gallons of gas and blowing it up <laughs> or something. Yeah. Uh, we have a question actually coming Ooh, in yeah. from Emily Handsdums. Is it about where my microphone is positioned? No, I think she's good with it. I think she likes that a lot. Oh. She's like, Brittany, yeah. Um, what should we be expecting for VGHS in season three? You should be expecting, uh, it's basically we're putting every one of our characters to the ringer. So it is the, <laughs> cra is the definitely the like craziest season that we've had in terms of just scale, production value, and everything like that. But it's the highest highs and the lowest lows for every character arc that we have. And hopefully, you should be expecting a satisfying conclusion to the three-year saga of the show. Is it weird to put yourself through the ringer? It is a little <laughs> bit. I'm going to be honest. It is a little bit strange, especially since I play my brother's dad in the show. <laughs> We're sort of get, I think we get away with it. I hope we get away with it. But yeah, it is a little bit strange. We only have a minute left. How can fans, there's a couple ways they can yeah. check out the show, tell the fans. Yeah, so you can check it out uh, every Monday on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash rocketjump. You can go to our site, rocketjump.com. And if you want to watch it week to week, new episodes come out every Monday. And if you want to binge view it, we're going to have a digital download for all six episodes available October 13th. And when does the first episode go online? Monday, October 13th. Oh my gosh, you guys, go and check it out. That's so 